Stay tuned to the end of today's video to find out if you were the winner of my very first giveaway ever, which includes one of these Feathers of Flies NL t-shirts and four MFS baits. Stay tuned. What is going on everybody welcome back it's a beautiful beautiful summer i guess day in western newfoundland i'm gonna throw the date up here now and the temperatures and all that we're uh we're in a thaw man i don't know what's going on but i'm not complaining because the sun's shining it's beautiful and me and colton are out fishing i haven't fished with him in a while but uh, we're back up at the hummer canal because i've been fishing here lately you know um i've got her figured out pretty much so uh we're gonna see if we can get into some fish and uh we're also gonna have a cook up i got some moose sausages i got some capelin over a good old open fire newfoundland style so stick along and we'll see what happens today so the first lure i'm going with is a just a generic fire tiger colored spoon um i'm going with it because it's heavier and these fish are uh down a little deeper you know it's supposed to be winter the temperatures are down a bit so they're not as active, they're a bit lethargic, but they're still aggressive, if that makes sense. They'll, st they'll still hit something if you can trigger it. So the current goes in on that side, sweeps around and creates an eddy, right? Because it has nowhere to go except this little gate. So it makes an eddy. And that eddy is where all the bait fish and all the debris is. And every single bit of food for these fish is in that eddy. If what I'm saying is right and I know what I'm talking about, I should have a fish within the first few casts in this eddy. First fish of the day, Colton's on. How's he feel? What is it? Landlocked. Landlocked salmon. Come over here and give it a release. Nice, nice, nice. They fight some hard though for what they are. And they're so much hardier than the river run. I don't even understand it. Awesome, buddy. Now I said I'd have a fish in the first few casts, but Colton beat me to it. I didn't realize, but the water level dropped a nice bit since we were last here. I kind of made the eddy go in a different place, so we've got to find these fish again. It makes it a little exciting, so I'm not complaining at all. What actually just came and happened is the workers came and turned on, I guess, the turbines there? The turbines, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. suppose. Um, that's why the water level is down, I guess. I guess there's something wrong. So that eddy I was talking about is actually in the process of being made. We're actually watching the swirl start to uh, settle. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a fire now before we catch any amount of fish fingers crossed um you know colton got one but that's just a start so we're just gonna have a cook up now um you hungry Getting there, yeah. yeah i'm hungry and uh it's decently cold out despite it being pretty sunny it's negative six or seven i do believe the wind's up a little bit so we're gonna have a little fire warm okay. ourselves up and let this uh canal get back to how it should be and let the fish settle down so we brought some of our own wood from home you know there's wood out here but uh, a lot of it's not really dry because we've had a lot of rain. So we just brought our own wood from home just to uh, to save that that hassle. Just get a little base made first there. Yeah. No. Uh, hold on. Let me put some birch down there first. Good idea. I gotta say, that was one of the easier fires we've got going. <laughs> that was pretty quick. I don't know why. <laughs> Shout out to the dollar ammo later, I suppose. I guess. Let's get yeah. some bigger junks of wood on that now. Um, we're only roasting Capelin, and you know, they're already fit to eat like they are. They're uh, salt dried. And I've got some honey garlic moose sausages there. So, you know, you don't need an insane amount of heat to roast them. Um, we'll figure it out and we'll get cooking. Main thing is, we want a hot mug of tea. going now shout out dean grandfather you the man look at this kettle stick perfect <laughs>
Look at that. A Colton just said something very interesting. <laughs> What'd you say? No, I've never ate cape one. You've never eaten cape one? That's gonna change today. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. I'm just gonna put it that way. Yep, I've got the fine batch of capelin there. And if I'm being honest, I probably eat all them by myself. So that water should come along very soon. And uh, we'll have a nice mug of tea. Did you want to put a tea bag in there? Are we both having tea? Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Let's do that. Put a tea bag in there. First bit of capelin going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three each. Um, I got a feeling it's going to be five and one, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> going on the fire here. And uh, we're just going to roast them. The tea's coming along nicely, though. Very nice. Just put them right over the flame. I like them charred. I like them a little charred. He doesn't know how he likes them. He probably doesn't. But hey, we're going to figure that out. But man, that tea is looking pretty good though. I got two packs of sugar there for us. So should be a nice little lunch. And hopefully we're going to get a few fish after. I really hope. If not, it's all worth it. Yeah, that tea is steep and nice, buddy. That looks like some deadly tea. I'm not even going to lie to you. That looks really good. Yes, sir. Right. I've deemed these done. And they might not be warmed all the way through, but it doesn't matter. Like, really, the taste is pretty good. I think you'll like it no matter what. No, don't rip it or nothing. Just bite it like a chip, man. I'm serious. Or you can do that. That works, too. Spit it out if you want, man. Just be honest. It got no, like, major... Taste to it. ...distinct flavor. It's just salty. Like... My personal opinion, it almost reminds me kind of mackerel. Yeah, it do. It's just salty. It's like salty fish. That's what, what it is. That's literally what it reminds me of. That's good though, isn't it? Wow. Well, guys, we're just letting that tea steep and let it boil. It's looking really good. So I'm going to dig into these capelin here now. Mmm. You got to bite them whole. Trust me. You don't taste the bones all. You got to believe me. You could think you would, but you don't. It's really good. Perfectly charred. Real good. Nice salt dried capelin. Mm. Oh, look at the spawn in that one. I can tell you, capelin are some good. Alrighty guys, tea starting to come to a boil there. Man, that's some some good looking tea, I'm gonna be honest. Yes, sir. I'm excited to drink that, man. I don't get excited over many things, but this is one of them. Well, Colton's digging into those honey garlic mousse sausages there. We're just gonna cut them lengthways to uh, make sure that they just cook quicker. I think we got them done at the farm in Cormac, I believe. But they're good sausages. Put more than one on, man. Oh. What are you doing? Not rude. <laughs> You want a tea bag? Sure. I'll have a tea bag. Yeah. Everybody gets a tea bag. Two nice mugs of tea. We are going to enjoy that. Look, guys, I tell you, it don't look like much, but we're enjoying ourselves to the fullest. This is uh, this is awesome. Just being out here, fire going, having a nice hot meal or snack, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that warm tea is going to be a treat, especially while we're fishing. We're going to enjoy that and uh, hopefully catch some fish. You had him twice. I know. He's toying with you. Nah, flick back out. You're too close shore now. You got him. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Now, buddy. Oh, that's not tall. Oh, crap. Look how tiny. <laughs> I just love how they look, man. They're so cool looking. They're awful tiny, though. Only one hooking him too, that's good. Just toss him back, man. It's only smaller, he'll be alright. <laughs> there he is. See you when you're two pounds, buddy. Colton's on again. Is he there? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 
I don't know what's up with small fish today. Well, that's the best thing to happen to. Is it? <laughs> that's the best thing to happen to a little fish like that is for them to get off anyway. Right up my feet. Oh, he felt really nice for a second. I don't know why. This little landlocked there. That's not a bad fellow. Very pretty. He's got spots on him. Yeah. Like, I know that's normal on salmon par, but like, I don't know. I guess that's normal. I've just never noticed it before on these little landlocked. I know it's normal on salmon par, but I've just never noticed it. Let's get him back as quick as we can. There he goes. I never noticed it before. It psyched me out for a second. They're liking Colton today, boys. I tell you that much. Which is odd. I got to try to get some of these takes on video to hook sets or whatnot. Another little guy. <laughs> Another little one. Still good fun. Still good fun. Well, guys, I just saw an otter just down there. I've only ever seen two otters in my lifetime, so that was pretty cool. He's got to come back up here somewhere. And I don't think he's too, too worried about us. Was that an otter? Did he see you? No, I don't think so. What, you spook? Oh, he's right there. Look, look, look. Just don't move. Don't move at all. Don't move a muscle. Don't, don't move. Don't move. What? Like I know. Not curious, what? That's a little too close for comfort. Yeah, they got some big old teeth, man. <laughs> Did he just get a fish? <laughs> yeah. What? See how close he'll come. No, I'll see how close he'll come. <laughs> what a curious dude, eh? I'm eating little bait fish. He's eating washed up smelt is what he's doing. Not the clever little guy. He's not too, too worried about me. Just checking me out. How is he getting smelt? That's so cool. He's some cool. Look at that. He's only got another smelt. So there is smelt here, and it answers my question.
Alrighty guys, the fishing has shut off completely. This wasn't a very good day fishing. Um, I'm honestly contemplating uploading this video or not. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. It was a pretty cool experience with the otter. From what I know, that's pretty rare, honestly. You don't see that all the time, especially up here at the, the canal, the Grand Lake and the Tumber Canal, whatever you want to call it. But uh, me and Colton had a good time. We had a good feed and that tee was, that hit the spot. Like, I don't know what, that was, ooh, that was something crazy. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head on out now. We're gonna take a different way out. Um, it's pretty cool. You guys are gonna be able to overlook all the deer lake from the pen stock. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, we're gonna get home and get warmed up. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it. Not a lot of fish caught, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. So, we're getting into the giveaway. Good luck to everybody who entered. I thank you all who entered, and it's time to give back. So up for grabs is Feathers and Flies NL t-shirt, the first one ever made. There's definitely gonna be more stuff to come. And for MFS Baits, it's been a pleasure working with MFS, and it's a great brand as well. Newfoundland made, another reason to support it. And it damn well catches a lot of fish. It's another reason to support it. Just before I do the spin, I do want to say in the future, um, I'm going to do the most least controversial way to do it, which is I'm just going to go live from now on. Um, I'm only doing it this way now. I know I should go live, but I'm only doing it this way now because in the post, this is how I said I was going to do it. So I, you know, I kind of have to do it that way now. Not the best way to do it by no means, but it's just what has to be done now. So with all that being said, I don't care if you live in Indonesia or who you are, if you're my worst enemy or if you're my girlfriend. If you win, you win. We're doing one spin, one winner. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get into it. So here I'm just going to scroll down so you guys can see all of your names. If you want, you can pause it and look for your name here. I'm just going to do a quick scroll just to confirm that everybody has entered in this. And don't worry, I double, triple. I checked about, I would say, 12 times. So it's all good. Now we're spinning. Uh-oh. Dimitri Hillier. Good job, man. Thanks for entering the giveaway. Thank you to everybody. I'm going to contact you. Congratulations, man. I'll get you stuff to you. All right. Congratulations to Dimitri Hillier. You are the winner of the giveaway. Four lures and one shirt. I'm going to get all your information to contact you and figure out what size t-shirt you want. And we'll get that to you as soon as possible. Thank you to everybody who has entered and thank you to everybody who supports the channel. It definitely helps me do what I love to do and uh, make these memories and be able to share them and have people who I know love watching them. That makes me really happy. So thanks to all of you for supporting from day one. And I don't care if it's day 287. Thank you to all of you, every single one of you. With all that being said, stick around. There's gonna be more giveaways coming. Stick around and until next time.